set. On the air, two, one, action. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2020 Quest for the Best Tournament. Last night we got to see, well, not last night, but the night before, we got to see some really intense action. We got to see the ladies of CXW take it to the mat. We got to see some exciting moments. Emma McGann wins the 2020, well, Vixen's Cup. We're going to play and not say it because why not? Because we're CXW, that's what we do. So, folks, we say things a lot of people don't like because, well, we don't cater to you pussy-ass uh, little <laughs> crybabies out there. This is wrestling. This isn't ballet. Anyway, i got to get out of character for a moment. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm, I'm feeling great despite being in a lot of pain, but that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Shit commentary, shit post, because it's fun. Um... Tonight's show is 18 plus because the fact is I'm going to be cussing up a storm because, well, as you guys have read, Emma McGann did win the Vixen's Cup the other night. A um, couple hiccups in the road for her and her tag team partner as Alexa Bliss and Shayna Baszler attacked both individuals, which led to a tag team match being booked for this Tuesday. That's right, the ladies of CXW are going to main event Eruption again. But folks, as you guys have read on the Facebook page, Mick Adams is clear to compete. We're going to hear from him this Tuesday. But let's not waste any more time, because time is, of a, time is an essence, ladies and gentlemen. And let's run down what you're seeing in front of you. So... We got Leo Rush opening things up against John Morrison. Then we got Andrade Cien Almas, the former CXW Caliber champion, as he takes on the Velveteen Dream. Then we got Cedric Alexander taking on Jamie Madrix. And then our final first round match, we got Long Island IZ Zack Ryder taking on the knockout artist, the man formerly known as Cassius Ono, Chris Hero. So let's not waste any time, folks. Let's see what kind of twists and turns the 2020 Quest for the Best brings us. Also, the winner of this match will receive that championship right there. It's guaranteed money. It's guaranteed opportunity. You get to choose to either face a world champion, a minor champion. You get to either hold that championship until the next Winter Warfare or for the next, world, for next um, Money in the Bank ladder match. You get to cash in for there, or you get to hold on to it and defend it at next year's quest for the best. So the possibilities are endless. We know what Emma's doing. She's got to take care of a couple people. But eight men will be going towards a million-dollar dream. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get this tournament underway. Leo Rush versus John Morrison's kicking things off. And ladies and gentlemen, this you don't want to miss. Okay, we're going to fix this whole momentum thing because it's not supposed to go to fast momentum. But folks, at this time, please do me a favor. Please, please, please do me a really, 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 really big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also, go check out HKW on on YouTube here. Hell's Kitchen Wrestling, HKW Wrestling, Wednesday Night Prestige, and Friday Night Rampage. You don't want to miss when we come back. Also, do me a favor. Check out... Ladies and gentlemen, check out. Check out. I can't stress this enough, folks. Scurryface.com. That's S C U R R Y face.com. For all your haunt entertainment needs. All right, folks. We are not going to waste any more time that we already have. Let's get the show going. Leo Rush, John Morrison, quest for the best. This is where it all begins today. Leo Rush did win $15,000 in a quest for for the check match, which is basically a play on this event. A 
All right, folks, let's take it to ringside for our opening contest. Ladies and gentlemen, our opening contest is some first round action for the quest for the best. Introducing first, Leo Rush. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CXW Wrestling. Welcome to the quest for the best live from Tokyo, Japan in the Tokyo Dome. And what the hell is this? John Morrison gonna come from behind. The fans are not too happy about this. Leo Rush is trying to fight back. And a few kicks to the head. John Morrison down. Now Leo Rush is back in the ring. The bell sounds. Missing the drop kick. Poundy, poundy. Oh! Going for an opportunity here. But John Morrison with a beautiful reversal. John Morrison now really taking it early on here to Leo Rush. Leo is having a hard time to fight back after that assault. Oh wait, I spoke a little too soon. Both men now gravitating towards a beatdown. Slap to the back of the head. Oh, Drew Bowden slams him back first. Look how cocky and smug this man is. You gotta wonder what kind of mindset this evil maniacal jackass is thinking here. I know Leo Rush ain't no saint either. But there goes a neck breaker. A beautiful job breaker now. Leo Rush trying to get back into a beautiful running forearm. And the kicks to the back. Leo now is working the neck. Going up, handstand, and working that neck, wrenching back. Stay awake. Leo Rush is working really diligently here to make sure he keeps the Oh! John Morrison once again. Dropping that elbow. It's all been Morrison the last so often here, folks. Leg sweep. Boom salt cover. That's not gonna be enough, no. Dropping in. He's got a signature, he's kicking him in the leg and kicking him in the head instantly. Proving he can strike any time, any place. Anytime, any place. Beautiful Hurricane Rama. Now Leo Rush going up top. What's he thinking? What is he thinking? Oh, he goes for that frog splash all the way across the ring. Cover. One, two, no. Not enough. Too much is not enough for him right there. And it's been reversed. Both men going back and forth here. Playing to it. Oh, brain buster! What's this? Leo going in the middle rope, missing the fist drop. Able to recapitalize on stuff here. Again, dropping him on his head with another brain bust. Dropping that elbow. Fatigue is already setting in that ambush before the bell even started, before the match even got underway. Leo in trouble. Choking the life. John Morrison. Only a one count here. That cover was deemed unsuccessful. 
Kick to the back. Oh, here we go. Reversal City. Dropping into that moonsault. Leo. Coming in with the frog splash. Let's take a look at that again. I did use the WCW logo because Quest for the Best was not loading up to the page. But here we run. Two. No! I was going to say, you're in for a treat. His eruption will have a few title defenses. John Moxley defends his championship as well. And we get to see Trish Stratus versus Whitney Valentine in a two out of three balls match. Elbow drop by John Morrison. Again, John Morrison gets reversed. Standing moonsault. Cover. One. Two. No. What's going on here, folks? Oh, here he goes. Oh. Back and forth action. Cover. One. No. Leo Rush cannot be put down here. Drop kick to the back. Beautiful over. I feel like uh, John Morrison's in deep control here. him down as hard as he can. Neck first. The thing is you want to try and finish your opponent off quickly. And that's what Leo's going to try and do here. Cover one, two, no. Oh. Backbreaker into a Russian leg sweep. And John Morrison using the exact same move Leo Rush has used a couple times already. Momentarily missing the drop kick. A great strike there. One, not even close, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wait, Leo with a beautiful reversal. Both men coming in back and forth. Strong oh, drop kick. That's gonna leave Leo Rush in the state of hurt. Super kick. No. Wait, wait, what's this? Premature age. Premature detonation. I almost said a different word. Some hard on his back. I feel like Leo Rush is getting a little um, a little ahead in his ego here. He's missing his drop pick. Spanish fly. One, two, three. John Morrison advances.
It looks like Leo Rush will not be going further into this tournament at any time just yet. You have one of the matches in the first individual into the second round. John Morrison. Coming up next, the former Excalibur champion, Andrade Cien Almas, will be in action against the Velveteen Dream. Then we got Cedric Alexander versus Jamie Madrix and Zack Ryder versus Chris Hero. Let's not waste any time. Who's it going to be? Andrade versus Velveteen Dream. The D-R-E-A-M is apparently under scrutiny for false allegations. But we will not get into that because we're not WWE. We're CXW. We're, we're the alternative. We're the, we're the greasy, grungy, underground promotion your mom and dad warned you about. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On his way to the ring. Andrade Cien Almas. Here comes the former Excalibur champion, former two time Excalibur champion. Worked with Jeff Hardy as of recent. In a phenomenal series. Look, amazing matches. I can hear. Try this stuff at home. And his opponent, Bell, the team dream. And the Velveteen Dream makes his way to the ring. Tournament action is underway. John Morrison with an upset victory over Leo Rush, which is shocking as Leo has been on quite a run as of late. Now, speaking of quite a run, Velveteen Dream is 3-0 here in CXW since his debut. Can he continue? his onslaught. Can he continue his rise to the top and become the best with this quest for the best tournament? And as I am looking out the windows here at the CXW compound, the Critically Extreme Productions compound, it is snowing like a motherfucker over here. So I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everyone's having a great time. And remember, if you're down, don't act like you're out. Because the truth is, there's always a shining light you can reach for. Also, whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not eat the disinfectant. I think we've actually said that live on a broadcast, folks. I don't know what the hell is going on with me, why I'm so weird today. Lack of sleep, lack of sex, lack of everything, I guess, because it's quarantine. But hey, I hope everyone's being safe. If you're here just to hang out, hang out, folks, because 
It's not just about wrestling and gaming. It's about having fun. It's about laughs. I mean, it's CXW. Come on. That's what happens when I don't have caffeine in my system, folks, and I decide to do a show. Um, there you go. D-R-E-A-M in the ring against Almas. <laughs> and that starts now. Okay, I'm dream apparently. I didn't even know that. And it looks like Dream is coming in with a beautiful reversal. Almost trying to get the kickstart here. The kickstarter campaign here. Good forearm to the back. Our Velveteen really working quickly here. He's working quickly. A beautiful suplex slam cover. No. He was working quickly while I was speaking moistly on it. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. Beautiful, strong action reversed. Now, Velveteen coming in closer. Close quarters. Beautiful sets of reversals. Back and forth action, man. Double axe handle dropping almost to his feet. Or off his feet on the floor. In the corner now, Velveteen coming in. Beautiful stinger splash. Almost. He's still in the corner. Very competitive contest. One's down only. It's a chop. Ra-ta-ta-ta-ta. Almas Moonsault missed. Velveteen going to bring him up. Oh no. Close line. He's not going to let Andrade get away with that, folks. He's not going to let that drop kick. What's Velveteen doing? He's going to pop. Missing the splash. Almost. Also going to be out to the anchor. But what the hell are you thinking, Almost? What are you doing? No, 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 Oh my god, under the apron. You son of a bitch, you're going to give him a concussion. I did not expect Velatine to recover from that. That was just. Anus. Now Velveteen throwing him around like a damn ragdoll here. And of course, everything will be going back to normal eventually. Regularly scheduled CXW action coming your way this Tuesday. Try and do some high flying. Oh, the clothesline on the back of the head. And another diving clothesline on the back of the head. Beautiful combinations. Almost now. Barely got him. Almost staggering after that it's attempt. And a back suplex connects. The Velveteen now. Gonna go for a new salt. No. And it's been reversed. He's got him up. Oh! Steamroll. Velvet. One. Two. No. Not enough to put down Andrade. 
on the snell. Still a little dazed and confused as Velveteen going up top. Purple Rainmaker! Let's take a look at that one more time. Beautiful elevation right there. Dropping the elbow to the heart. Cover. One, two, three. It's going to be Velveteen Dream versus John Morrison in the second round in the semifinals. It'll be very interesting to see how that works out, folks. There are certain superstars that had to be substituted due to injury or due to other complications. I gotta wonder, is Execution gonna be UVW bound or CXW bound? Because we saw some mind games last show. Also, both on CXW and UVW television, ironically, as the action replays are showing right here. Both men really working into each other. We went over the match. The Velveteen Dream! And Velveteen Dream proving why he is one of the top contenders here in CXW 4 0. Let's see if we can keep it going. Now, the worst part of this, folks, is the loading screen time. Now, we have Cedric Alexander versus Jamie Madrix, Zack Ryder versus Cassius Ono. So, folks, it's going to be a little wild. It's going to be a little interesting. Let's see how this is going to play out. Cedric Alexander. Versus Jamie Maddox. Don't worry, folks. We'll get to regular commentary, regularly scheduled programming this Tuesday. You do not want to miss it. We were originally going to do this tournament tomorrow, but I decided to do it today so I could have a few days to recover from, you well, know, feeling a bit of pain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On his way to the ring first, Cedric Alexander. And it looks like Jamie Madrix. Oh, it looks to me like both men are going to brawl on the top of the stage here. We've already seen one major brawl break out. Don't feel disheveled, boy, as my friend would say. And both men brawling it out here. And a DDT on the... Staging the ramp. Someone's gonna have to stop this so the match can actually go on. Oh. What's this? He just drove him down hard. Beautiful. Whatever flatliner, jumping flatliner is. What the hell is this? Oh, oh wait. Centrac coming in. He's balling. And the match starts as Cedric Alexander and Jamie Magic go back and forth. This one could be an upset move. 
What's this? Oh! Oh my! Instantaneous! One! Two! No! Magic kicks out! And we'll be seeing it. Cedric Alexander setting up. Lumbar check! The lumbar check cover. One, two, no. Jamie Nadrick's almost certain he wants to, well, steal this attempt. This night from Cedric Alexander. You gotta wonder how Cedric's body is feeling after those brut that brutal assault on the stage here. Cedric is coming up, coming out through that curtain down the ramp. Beautiful DDT connecting. Both men attempting, attempting to get some offense here. in the end of the year. Oh! Sit out front suplex. And it's been reduced. Except they're coming in for it. Lombard check. Not one, but two lumbar checks. Cover. One. Two. No. It took two lumbar checks and it wasn't enough. Jamie Madrix is a resilient man. Lift him, his back is giving way. Roll over DT. Crossing into the, uh, oh wait. Cedric. Oh, back and forth. Oh, those strikes, those brutal strikes into the stomach. Only a two count. You have got to be kidding me. These men are putting it all on the line tonight. To be the best. Oh my, he just laid him out and looks to me like Jimmy Magic is bleeding. Well, really cheap down here. Cedric now. This is it. Third lumbar check. Cover. One, two, three. Cedric goes to it. Fix the audio levels on this, folks. Eventually. Well, before the semifinals, we'll probably fix the audio levels. But there you see it: Cedric Alexander and Jamie Madrix tearing this arena apart. The Tokyo Dome. Your winner of the match, Cedric Alexander. And a phenomenal one on one contest. All right, folks. We got one more match before we get into the semifinals.
Zack Ryder versus Cassius Ono. Matt Cardona versus Chris Hero. Whatever way you want to say it. Then we're going to take a brief intermission. I'm going to work on some audio technical issues. Then we're going to get right back into the semifinals. And then our main event. The winner will receive. I repeat, receive a championship belt that he can cash in at any time or hold on to defend till the next quest for the best. The following contest is the final first round match. On his way to the ring first from Long Island, New York. Zach Ryder. And what the hell is with everybody coming from behind here? And Zach Ryder felt the disturbance in the force. And now he's going right after Cassius Ono. He's not wasting any time, Zach. Matt Cardona is in the ring. He's talking to the referee. The referee's holding him back here. Enough for Cassius to get a nice jab in. A referee got in the way on that one. Both men going back and forth here. Trying to get the glasses off of Zack Ryder and, and wrenching the neck in the process here. Cass is on here. Sent on. Not for long, yeah. Damn it, Futura. What's he thinking here? Like, exactly. by Cassius Ono. Cassius with a big boot. Cassius looking in the arm here. Cover. No. Ryder now. Oh, and a kick to the back. Cassius has been all on the offense as of late. Trouble. We can see the Kowalski group coming to play. Woo, 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 you know it! Zach Ryder now trying to make it here. Oh! Oh my god, the Rough Rider's been reversed. Cassius reversed. Both men going back and forth here. This is a very hard hitting and physical contest, folks. Knee left. Hiring him out. Oh, it wasn't enough.
Cross is only trying to figure out. member of the Ascension. Is that? That's Connor of the Ascension. What's he doing here? Ryder makes it. That slight distraction from Connor the Ascension. What's this? We have one over the match. Zach Ryder. You gotta be kidding me. What's they, they formed an alliance. So Zack Ryder is a part of the Ascension. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. We're just going to fix some audio stuff. Then we'll be into the semifinals. Check, check, check. Check, check. There we go, folks. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. We are back. It's time for our semi round, semi finals. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and it is the semi-final round matches. First, John 
Morrison. And it's a corner. The bell is a two dream. for the best. <laughs> Suplex to John Morrison. Velveteen in control here. Velveteen trying to get to the fans here. Seems to me like the guy's in front of him. Purple Rainmaker. Cover. One, two, three, no. Crucifix cover. Two, three. Oh my God! Velveteen stole the win. Oh my God! The Velveteen Dream makes it to the finals, and John Morrison is irate. You're winning the match. Double team dream.
All right, folks, here we go. Our final semifinal match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And this is the semi-final match. The final semi-final match. On the way to the ring first. Cedric Alexander. participant in this matchup. Zach Ryder. Who's here, folks? It's the Cedric Alexander's in control of Zack Ryder here. I'm getting word that... Zack Ryder will be in action. Tag team action. He's teaming up with um, Connor. To take on Cassius Ono and Cesaro. Zack Ryder goes on into the finals.
It's time for our main event. Right after multiple texts and interruptions from people's It's time for our main event, the finals. Velveteen Dream versus Zack Ryder for the Quest for the Best Championship. There it is, folks. The following contest is our main event and is for the CXW Quest for the Best Championship. The winner of this match will receive a championship belt in which we can either hold till next year's Quest for the Best and defend. He can cash it in for a title opportunity or an opportunity in the Quest for the Case, the Gold Rush Case, or a number 30 spot in the Winter Warfare Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first challenger number one, the Velveteen Dream. And his opponent, Zack Ryder! And here he comes, Long Island Ice Z, Zack Ryder. He'll be taking on Cesaro and Cassius Ono in tag team action this Tuesday as he teams up with Connor of the Ascension. Right there, the championship on the line, worth a million dollars. And it's showtime. Oh, the team's gonna start off real quick here. Not playing around one bit. Yes, oh! Velveteen. What's he thinking? Oh, drops the elbow on the back. Velveteen Dream now going up top here. Gonna try and finish it off early. Side here. The Velveteen. And a reversal. Ryder now back into the ring. Neck breaker connecting it. Effects. He's going to go for that broski. Boo, here we go. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. Ryder. Rough Ryder connecting. 
Could this be it? The opportunity of the lifetime for Zack Ryder. One, two. Oh my God. No, no. You gotta be kidding me. One rough rider and it wasn't enough. Bringing him up. Velveteen with a reversal here. And Velveteen now swinging it in. Rude awakening shades of ravishing Rick Rude. Oh! Ryder! Ryder is down! One, two, three! Velveteen Dream grabs the, the win! Oh my god! Velvet Team Dream is the 2020 quest for the best champion. I don't know what to say, folks. There it is. The blow that ends the match. Ryder is out. Your winner of the match, and the 2020 CXW Quest for the Best Winner. Velveteen Dream! Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be seeing you Tuesday night for Tuesday Night Eruption! Alright folks, I'm going to share this to Twitter so I can save it to my phone.